opportunity to play at this point. Um, we, we've done some good preparing so far. I know it's been a, an odd preseason and um, preparation up to playing in January, but uh, we're excited, we're hopeful, and I think we're putting in the work right now to, to build on last year. So uh, we've got some good returners that are back that played some significant roles for us last year and um, were really an impact for us in our success. Um, Nia White here, she's she's coming off of a great all-conference season last year and um, had, a, had a knee injury at the end and um, has come back really strong off of her her surgery and really worked hard this summer. So we're we're excited to see her um, in action this year. We've got Bria Clemens coming back at the point guard position who started for us last year and, and played some really good minutes kind of running the show for us. Um, and Carly Winters at the guard who shot the three really well for us last year. Um, I think is shooting it a lot better right now and currently. Um, so we're excited to see those three together. Um, and then Kaylin Searles, who was a true freshman for us last year, um, really brought a different dynamic to our team and, and kind of how we played. And I we see her doing some really big things for us this year. I think she's grown offensively just in the little bit of time we've had together, um, attacking the rim more. And I think she's uh, I think she really will be a little more offensive minded for us this year. Uh, we've we've got a transfer in Lola Lovett who comes to us from Georgia Southern. Um, and really offensively, I think she changes the game for us. She has the ability to shoot it um, from deep and really kind of has the basketball IQ we've been looking for and, and able to read the defense and come off some ball screens and things like that. So I think offensively, Lola can really um, impact our game right away, has that ability. Um, we've got a couple freshmen that I think would also be able to um, get in the mix and really um, as true freshmen be able to to help us out. Um, we've got Olivia Tucker who's a true freshman at the point guard spot. Um, we foresee her being able to play some good minutes. Um, Andalyn Hill who's a local uh, freshman at the four spot I think she'll be able to come in and, and really grab some boards for us and, and bring a little different athleticism. Um, and Thalia Carter from uh, Greensboro who is a true freshman kind of brings that attacking uh, slashing on the perimeter that we uh, that we're really looking for. So uh, you know, it's we got a lot of new players and a lot of new faces, but I think everybody plays kind of a different role, and um, I'm excited for them to to all get together and see how it comes together in January. Peach Belt's going to be tough, uh, no matter what. Um, you know, playing a 16 game schedule and playing some opponents twice and others once. Um, no matter what, it's going to be a tough road. We open up with USC Aiken um, here, and, and that'll be a tough one. I mean, uh, last year there's a, a lot of returning all-conference players to these teams that, that we'll be facing again, and um, great players, great coaches in the league. It's, uh, it's going to be tough. I, I hope that we're prepared. I think we've been working hard to prepare for the elite level of the Peach Belt, but, um, you know, it, it won't be a walk in the park, that's for sure. It feels great to be back, um, being able to be here at school. I know a lot. some schools have shut down, but just being able to practice um, and compete during practice with our team and just have another opportunity to get better, it feels pretty good to be back. So I'm excited. To be efficient and be consistent um, at a high level over the entire season in practice um, and just help lead my team. I feel like it's going to be special. Um, even with just our team, we have a lot of transfers. I know some other schools, they have some good transfers from JUCO um, and other schools. So just the competition and the level of play here in the Peach Belt, I feel like it's going to be exciting and it's going to be tough.